First of all, Austin, just um, first impressions of the game. Uh, can't make mistakes. You know, it's uh, it's unfortunate. You know, we we should have beat them. We should have won. Um, but positive. You know, it's one game. It's the first game of the season. And we got to come back and, and win. So, um, unfortunately, you know, we, we can't get this one back. We can't do it over again. But fortunately, we, we're blessed to get another week. The locker room. How are you guys handling handling things in the locker room right now? Uh, we got a bunch of great senior leaders that uh, just brought them up and uh, you know told everybody that this is just one week, but we got to you know hold everybody accountable, and it starts with us. It's not about our coaches; it's about us. And uh, you know, it, you know, it starts over tomorrow. You know, we go back to work tomorrow, and that's what we got to do. You, spe- you especially talk to the quarterbacks and let them know that hey, this wasn't all on you guys. Kind of situation. I mean, they know that They're, they've been playing football their whole lives. You know, it's just. It's one of those things where we all got to make plays. It wasn't just one position group. It wasn't the defense. It wasn't the offense. It wasn't special teams. We had to come together as a team and, and make plays. What was your analysis of Brandon and Chance? <clears throat> I thought they both did a good job of managing the game, um, making plays when, when it was time to make plays and, you know, moving the ball. So I think they both did a great job, you know, on the receiving end. We got to make plays, catch balls when they're thrown to us, and uh, just make plays. In your opinion, did either one of them separate each other from the pack, or is this going to be a back and forth thing for Wow. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, Coach Fedora will make that decision. I don't make that decision, but um, I think they both did good things, probably some bad things. I mean, that's how every game is, especially as a competitor. You can always find something to critique, and uh, we'll get better each and every day. Was it that close coming in for these guys, too, from what you guys saw on the field? Yeah, I mean, they've both been competing for weeks, um, for weeks on, uh, on hand, and uh, they've been competing ever since day one. So. They both did a good job today. Austin, what happened at the end of the game? I was right there and just was extremely physical. What were they did they doing and just what happened there? They were just trying to tackle us, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it looks like they tackled you before they even snapped the ball. Yeah, I mean, they just, I mean, that was the play they called. It was, you know, they tackled both me and Thomas Jackson, and uh, just it was one of those things where they were trying to, you know, kill time and, and tackle us and make sure we didn't score faster and, and be able to kick an onside kick. So. Um, you know, he tried to tackle me. He couldn't tackle me. Um, he's probably not strong enough, but he um, hopefully get in the weight room and be able to tackle somebody soon. Aside from managing the game, what did you like that? One or two things you like that Chaz did that you think can you guys that he can build on? You guys can build on. I mean, he's a very physical runner. Um, if you can't tell, uh, he, he, he when he runs the ball, he runs the ball with force, and uh, you know he's going to continue to get better. You know, we all got to continue to get better with our routes, our reads, and. And um, just each each and every day, just continue to get better on the offense side of the ball. A lot of you guys have talked about Michael Carter last month. We saw some of, I think, what you guys were talking about. Is that the guy you think you're going to see every week? Absolutely. He's a competitor. He's a great player. Um, came in early, and he's learned the offense, and he's been competing ever since. So he did a great job today. Thanks, Austin.